pretty windy start to the day up to 30 k's an hour along the ridge there and no clouds over launch yet Over 3,000 feet now and Luke's coming up from above. Ashley, Jeff and Aaron have got a few hundred feet higher and they're already on glide. For me it's been a long time to get above 3,000 feet. They're going over there. Come on Gordos! Let's get up to the others under that cloud. Oh, they're already going. It is an exceptional climb off Gordos. The other guys are on glide. Some nice clouds there over the Kerry. But do I want to let myself be blown along with the Southerly? I'm not sure what I want to do next. So that's Aaron, he's chasing Jeff and Ash. Uh, just ahead, I guess. Hey, fuck off! Oh, well, you fucking don't lie, appreciate that. You fucker. You fucker. Don't you fucking do that again. desert down there and that's where the other guys were last time I saw them but I think at least one of them landed and um, I'm pushing back there's a few clouds there's not actually that much headwind and I uh, just want to get back in the big mountains and it'd be great to land back at beach one if I can so that's the idea I'm over O'Reilly's now it's nice to get back in the hills and I don't feel much southerly here but if you're a suddenly, why would you want to come over all of that? 5,000 feet and it's working pretty well. You see the bottom half of Mount Warning, but it's very hazy today. Feeling a bit low and exposed, but I've got a landing paddock right beneath me. It's just not the bottom of the valley. It is by road though. Turn all the way from the fort. Four thousand seven hundred. Feeling a little bit more like a lee side climb now. And yeah, because it's a bit blue here, and there's more wind getting through this valley. This guy snuck up on me. I only saw him in as a meter from my wing. He gave, I just yelled out. And he um, went away. I don't think he's aggressive. He just gave me a shock. Hey, bud. There we go. Whew! A little bit intense. I was expecting this to be the windward side, but I've only just got into lift. Buchanan's Ford. After this, I'm going to try and head back. Woo. A little bit intense in here. Come on. Well, that was pretty hectic. I'm going to nip around the corner. And uh, see what that brings. There were a big cloud, a big cloud here before, so some lift coming up. 
sort of half managing to stay in it. Come on. Starting to suck in a few breaths now after a pretty uh, full on experience at the fort. Character building. Yeah, nice cloud up here. Same place it was 20 minutes ago. I've climbed just over a hundred feet, probably a couple hundred now, from two and a half thousand feet. And this is a lee side climb, no doubt about it. And I need it. Well, a big thank you. I'm high and dry now. And things are looking up. Just a few trees to cross. Up those ones. There's a valley full of trees over there, but there's a good cloud behind it and um, probably going to stay pretty high. Very good! Oh, it's a hard-earned thirst. I've got a dry mouth from rye bread and cheese. So I'm in fairly deep. This is the valley of trees I was talking about. But there's this top landing option here. Well, will I make it back to Beachmont? I've uh, lost a few hundred metres. I haven't completely followed the clouds because I've stayed uh, upwind of them. But that's uh, what it looks like. Probably going to get back in the lift soon. Approaching Flying Fox. Well, I really haven't had any climbs, and it looks like I might still make it back, or at least close enough to walk back. Pretty shaded out. Looks close, but it got sinky. Looks like I'll be landing here at the school. Haven't landed here since I was learning. Could be a bit rough with all these high trees around. Soft as silk. Well, that's bloody good.